So here we are, somewhere really special today, somewhere close to my heart, because I used to live here. It's Saltaire Village. We're down here at the Saltaire United Reform Church, which was built in 1859 by Sir Titus Salt. And that is opposite the lovely mill over there that Jonathan Silver restored and put inside the David Hockney Gallery. Wonderful place. So we brought these two lovely minis down for you. A 1959 mini from the first year of production and a late 2000s mini, a Cooper works at that. So normally in this filming we have the wonderful Bex with us, but she can't be with us today. So we're having a look around to see what we can see. And there's somebody called Claire here who's got something a bit special, something very Yorkshire for you. And I've never held one of these before, I'm told the bite. Oh, it's trying to bite me. <laughs> that were a ferret and that's all I'm holding. And apparently it's a male and it stinks, but I can't smell anything. Thanks for that, Claire. So that were really Yorkshire for you. So what's really special about this 59 Mini that we brought down today is we have got to 6 million Minis. And this one on its chassis number is car number 6,500. It was also owned by somebody famous, Adrian Reynard from Motorsport fame. But we're going to show you a few of the quirks on 59 Minis, the really early ones. I'm into Cooper S's, I'm into racing my Minis and everything, but I've got a real soft spot for the really early Minis. So we're going to have a quick look around this 59 Mini. It's actually known as an Austin 7. The Morris version were a Morris Mini Minor. I've always liked the Austins because it sounded a little bit sporty to me. The Morris always sounded like it were for the older fraternity. These were made for district nurses, but they were also made for families with big door pockets, loads of room inside, little wicker work baskets, but still really basic compared to the Cooper Works I'm going to show you after. But I'll show you under the bonnet really quickly, because this is where I'm going to tell you what number this car is in the production line. And we take a look at the chassis plate down here, and we're at car number 6,829 out of 6 million minis. So it shows you how early this is. Still very basic, very little around the place, loads of room around. One of the rarities, a glass washer bottle. Everybody's looking for these glass washer bottles and it's so original, the original metal cap has corroded to a big hole in the top. So now we've taken a quick look at the outside. The one thing I will show you before we go to the inside is the dealer drill drainage holes in the roof channels. Because when they were actually made, they didn't put any drainage channels here. So this used to fill up with water and go over like a bucket. But we'll go inside now, we're going to look at the unprotected door handle, really early door handle. But then you start to see the room. Can you imagine cars of the period didn't have these big door bins, loads of leg room, all this here. But a real quirk about these cars were the straight gear levers, what we call the pudding stirrers. We've got no tenth of a mile uh, collector on the speedo, but we've got a really original pie radio in it. I love this car, these 59 Minis are really special and they're lovely to drive. So we've moved to the back of the car now, and we did call it the Austin 7, even though it's a Mini, and you can see it comes with the Austin 7 badge. And the really early ones had this special badge here. I really like this touch. Still got its original dealer supplied number plates, but the big thing with these, they had no recess around the window rubbers, which caused a real problem with water ingress. And the real thing I like is when you open the boot, and you get this lovely swinging number plate, so you could drive with all your luggage, you could have some extra luggage space here, really basic boot. Usual spare with the spare fastening there. We've left the clamp at work. Old five and a half gallon tank. And then you shut the boot, put your number plate back and away we go. So we're done with the 59 Mini and I've moved across to this Cooper Works. Really special car that belongs to a customer. You can see how much they've come on on Minis because you're now in towards the five million mark of production. So you've obviously got all the upgrades and the safety features and everything. This is a Cooper sports pack, so you've got the bigger 13 inch wheels, the bigger arches, the Cooper red label badge, really special car, restored this one for the customer. <clears throat> full leather interior, full walnut everywhere, airbags, everything. All built for drive-by noise, so it's got the front radiator to keep the noise suppressed. Completely different car to drive to the 59 Mini, more user friendly, no choke to worry about, all fuel injected, running on modern fuels. But still, my favourite to drive is the little basic 59. It's comfortable, the smaller wheels are easier to live with. These are a bit harsh, but you can see the differences. It's why we just didn't want to film the 59 on its own. We wanted to show you how far Minis had come on over the years. 
So when you saw under the bonnet of the other car, it just looked like a small engine and a load of space. But as these progressed and they had drive-by, like I've just said to deal with, you've got all your impact zones and stuff that had to be dealt with, with these ones. The, the quieting down subframes with the rubber mounting. You got your front radiator, which meant we had to lift the uh, alternator. The other thing you notice with this is the blue head. And this is because it's a Cooper Works with the modified head. Just short of 90 horsepower, these cars. When you look at that with 33 horsepower, shows you what a difference it is. You've got the row of spotlights that came with the Cooper Works. You've got the more modern headlights, the Y-Pack headlights on this instead of the what I call the candle burners on the, the Lucas headlights over there. But completely different car, even though it's a Mini. And we'll take him for a run after this wasp stopped attacking me. Right, well normally when we're doing this sort of filming, we have the car running so we save a bit of time, but I wanted to show you one of the unusual features of early minis. So when you go to start them, you turn the key, you get the ignition light on, and lo and behold, floor starter. And the other thing we've done it this way around for, is when we go for the seat belts, it's pre-seat belt law, so this mini never had seat belts from you. So before you start telling me I need my seat belt on, unfortunately it doesn't have them. So as you felt then, no sinker on first gear and we're going to pull away in this lovely little 59 Mini. So we're going to have a little tour around Saltair Village as we drive this car. So this is about as basic as Minis come. No wind up windows because obviously you've got the door bin, you've got your sliding windows which I think are really lovely. There we go. Single speedo rudimentary heater so it's a little 850cc mini or 848cc little 33 horsepower but really short gears so it doesn't really feel that underpowered it's got single leading drum brake so we're going to leave a little bit of distance between the cars because the other car we're going to film later is full disc brake setup when this car were designed the cars that were around at the time the old Ford Prefix, old Anglias Austin Cambridge A35s this must have just been a revelation when it came out but I do believe when I talk to people from here including the owner of this car you either loved them or hated them but fortunately I grew up loving minis so as I said earlier in the filming I used to live in Saltair and one of the unusual features of Saltair Village is the fact that the streets are named after his family members so we're just coming past George Street Ada Street, Helen Street, Edward Street, Mary Street, Fanny Street and then we're going to take a little tour down the street I used to live down which is Herbert Street and this is where I used to live down here on the right hand side and I absolutely loved living in this village. The other quirky side of Saltair Village it's still got cobbled roads we're just going to take a ride on one and you're going to see what a Mini's like. So we're in the 59 Mini, we're probably going to come over this in the 2000 Mini as well. So we're now on the cobble road along the side of the railway. But the houses were for the workers, so the bigger houses were for the, the management and the people who were in charge and the smaller cottages were for the workforce. The little gardens at the back, it's well known that people who used to live here and work at the mills were looked, at, looked out on by the management. You can never imagine this ever happening again in life where somebody walks a mill who build a whole village. So it's not doing so badly over this for a 1959 car with rubber, rubber cone suspension. But you're going to notice the difference when we come over in the sport pack. So right now we're coming up to date, or if you call up to date, because these even this is 20 years old. But I'm going to start it from fresh because now we're on a mobiliser, we're on key start, it's fuel injected so we've got no chokes to worry about. We've got airbag, oh, and seat belts. We need seat belts in this one. So we're now in the Cooper Works. So we're going to do a similar tour in this as we did in the 59 Mini but you're probably going to notice a difference in sound, a little bit of a difference in horsepower because we're now up to 90 horsepower. 
loads of warning gauges so it's just the way the mini went bearing in mind we're five and a half million further on in this one i'm going to do a three point turn here like we did before in the little 59 mini with its skinny 10 inch wheels it were really easy in this one it's got the 13 inch sport pack wheels we're now fuel injected we're super unleaded it'll even run on unleaded fuel a lot quieter a lot smoother but quite harsh on the suspension with it being 13 inch, 13 inch wheels we're going past the 59 mini that we just parked you might catch it on camera as we see and you can just see how basic and small a mini looked in period I mean, if people are aware who know me, I actually run around in a Cooper Works, the new BMW Mini, and they're like double the size. We're going to go in the reverse direction in Saltair Village, so we're going to go down into the village. It's a beautiful set in this, so if you ever feel like a day out, come down to Saltair. It's got a lovely park called Roberts Park. The mill is always open. It's got a lovely restaurant in it once COVID's over. We're going to go on the, on the cobbles. So now what I told you before, if you remember how the, the 59 Mini was, because this has got 13 inch wheels it really struggles with the the extra weight of the wheel and suspension it gets really harsh and a lot noisier so, so we're running along the side of the railway which is what makes salt air popular because it's the main route between skipton and leeds and it's a good commuter site we're having to speak up obviously because it's a lot noisier in this car so even though they improve the minute I actually think the ride quality of the 59 Mini is far superior to this one. But to live with, probably the easier car. So as we're heading back to where we were parked with the 59 Mini, we're going to take them both on a little drive and head back to the garage. And I'll tell you which one's my favourite of the two. I'm pretty sure the people out there will realise uh, which is going to be my favourite. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not so sure of myself yet. Well I hope you enjoyed today's filming, a lovely site is the heritage site of Saltair. Come and pay it a visit, because while you're there you can come and see me and have a coffee. So now we're going to conclude with my favourite of the two, and it's a lot more difficult than you may think, but I'm definitely going to go for the 59 Mini for its charm, its quirkiness, its ease of use, but it's still a soft spot for this. So yes it came a close second, but a very close second at that. It's ease of use. The fact it's fuel injected and electronically controlled means you've no chokes to worry about. I love the leather, I love the plushness, I love the walnut. I hope you've enjoyed today's filming because I particularly enjoyed comparing these two minis and keep an eye out for his latest episodes. <laughs>